Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve um, for our missing variables x and y in this lovely example um, by using our angle relationships. And we see that we have two intersecting lines. And when we have two intersecting lines, the two angle relationships we want to look for is a linear pair um, as well as vertical angles. We're not going to be dealing with our parallel lines and transversal. Um, so automatically I can see that remember vertical lines are two, or sorry, vertical angles are two angles that share the same vertex but do not share any common sides. Therefore, I can say 2x and 84 are vertical. And vertical angles, remember the angle relationship is vertical angles are equal to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the relationship, and I'm going to write vertical angles just to make sure that I have it correct. And if I made a mistake, I know where I made it. But vertical angles are equal to each other, so I'll divide by 2, divide by 2. x equals 42. So now that I know that x equals 42, I can find the measure of this angle. Um, which again, we know is going to be 42, right? So, all right, well, anyways, we figured out what x was. Um, the next one is let's go and figure out y. Well, y does not have a vertical angle with it, correct? However, I do see that y and 84 over here, that creates a straight line, which is a linear pair. And I know that um, a linear pair, are, um, two angles that make form a linear pair are supplementary. So, Again, I'll write what I'm going to use, and I'm going to say y plus 84 is equal to 180 degrees. I guess I could probably add those degrees in there. So therefore, to solve, I'll subtract 84, subtract 84, and then y equals uh, 96. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve for x and y by using your angle relationships of a linear pair and linear pair and a vertical angle. Thanks.